as I mentioned on my previous upload, this will be a video on my ice cream banana plant. I'll take you through the planting and all the way to the uh, harvest. I purchased this plant in May of 2019 from a local big box store. The plant was growing in a 10 inch uh, container standing at about 34 inches tall. It was planted in the ground shortly after uh, purchasing. And this variety as most other uh, banana plants is listed as a fast growing. Within a month after planting, it started to push, uh, push out some large, healthy looking leaves. By November, it had grown considerably and began to produce a couple of pups or uh, baby plants. By July of 2020, the plant had reached a height of about eight feet. It was looking very healthy and had produced several large leaves. Uh, it also had uh, produced a few more pups. The pups that started to develop in November of 2019 had also put on quite a bit of growth. I'd also like to mention that in early spring, I began to fertilize once a month on through the growing season. I used an organic granular fertilizer in the first week of spring, and then the following month, I used a liquid organic fertilizer, which consisted of seaweed and fish emulsion. I continue to rotate both the granular and liquid fertilizers on through the whole growing season. As you can see, the plant responded well and put on a good amount of growth, producing large, healthy looking leaves. I also began to increase the watering. I made sure to keep the soil moist during the summer months and then backed off during the winter months. These plants are considered heavy feeders and require uh, regular watering. This corner of my yard was what I originally thought would be the best place for the plant. This area gets full sun, which these uh, plants do like, but it's also an area that gets a lot of wind exposure. We don't get too many windy days in uh, this area, but when we do get them, there's not much protection here in this corner. Here in this clip, you can see what I'm talking about. In early December of 2020, we had some really high winds in our area and this plant got pretty beat up. The winds left the leaves all torn up, but shortly afterwards, the flower bird flower buds started to emerge. Per nursery info, this variety usually takes about two years to start to fruit. As I previously mentioned, I purchased this plant in May of 2019, and at the time I bought it, I'm guessing the plant was somewhere around six months, so this was right on schedule as far as uh, fruit production goes. Here it is just a few days later. The flower bud put on a substantial growth and had begun to swell. And here it is just a few days later and you can see that the flower bud is completely emerged. And here it is again after just a few more days of growth.
And here you can see that the flower bud has begun to put on a little bit more growth. If you look at the bottom of the flower bud, you will see that it's slightly longer than the uh, previous clips. Here it is a few days later. And within a few more days, the bananas began to emerge. And you can clearly see that several banana hands were starting to form. Here's a better view from the other side. You can clearly see the banana hands had formed. And a little over two weeks later, a good amount of banana hands have formed and we're starting to put on good size. By mid-February, the flower bud was reaching the end of its production cycle and began to produce smaller, inferior quality bananas. As you can see, the newly forming bananas towards the bottom of the flower bud are lighter in color and just don't seem to be developing well. Since the plant appeared to be at the end of its production cycle, I decided to cut off the flower bud. By doing so, this would force the plant to focus its energy on developing a better quality fruit. Here it is the following month. And after another month of growth, I cleaned up the plants by cutting off the uh, damaged leaves that were starting to die off. By this time, the bananas had put on a little more growth and were notably more plump than the previous month. Here it is in late June. Bananas are still green, but they are not quite as square as before and are starting to increase in diameter and are becoming more round. By early August, the plants were close to being ripe. They had put on a little more size and increased in weight. The added weight was beginning to cause the plant to bend. I was worried the uh, added weight might cause the plant to snap, so I placed a board under the plant for added support. By mid-August, the majority of the bananas were ready for harvest. There were still a few that were green and needed a little more time, but the vast majority were ready. If you look at the yellow bananas, you will notice that the corners have uh, smoothed out and are more roundish, unlike the green unripe bananas that have corners that are more pronounced. The total harvest off this plant wound up being somewhere around 80 to 85. Here's what they look like. As you can see, they're not very big in size. They're a bit smaller in length than most store-bought bananas. And the outer skin is much thinner than uh, Cavendish varieties or the kind you find at grocery stores. As far as taste goes, these are the best tasting bananas I've ever had. I've grown Cavendish bananas before and they don't even match the flavor of these. This variety, in my opinion, is way better than any store-bought or even a homegrown Cavendish banana.
The taste with these is uh, sweeter and has a hint of vanilla. Per nursery info, these plants take about two years to fruit, which is about how long it took mine. And to go from flower to fruit was about eight months, which is a bit long. And that's mainly due to the fact that I live in an area where we get somewhat mild summers. If you live in an area with warmer temps, it should take, uh, take much less time to go from flower to fruit. After harvesting, I went ahead and cut down the plant. These plants only fruit once, then they die off. It, it's best to cut the plant after harvesting so that it won't take up any nutrients that would otherwise go to any pups it may have produced. By the way, uh, banana plants are an excellent source of uh, nutrients for your soil, so be sure to compost the plant once its uh, life cycle has ended. Okay, that will do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching. If so, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I'll be posting videos on a regular basis, so if you'd like to follow along, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, stay safe, grow your own, and thank you for watching.